we must keep God's commandments. You understand that? Today is the Sabbath day, not Sunday. If you go to church tomorrow, that's wrong. Six days shall you labor, the seventh day is the Sabbath day of rest. You understand me? Read that again, Exodus 20. Because a lot of the older generation, y'all was raised to believe that under the Christianity religion that Sunday is the day of worship. But believe it or not, Sunday is the first day of the week. That's not the day God ordained. That's right. The day that God ordained is the seventh day. Right. Sunday being the first day, Friday being the sixth day, Saturday being the seventh day. That's right. That's the correct form to worship God and praise God. So if you go to uh, Dollar Tree and you're buying, you're breaking God's laws. Right. On the Lord's Sabbath day. You may not know, but now you know. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20. Lift up your voice. In verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Y'all got to remember the Sabbath day out here. Right. Remember the Sabbath day. Read to keep it holy. You see that, brother? You got to keep the Sabbath day holy. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Read. Six days shall go labor. You got six days to work. That's 144 hours. You got more than enough time to get up, work, take care of anything you want to take care of. But the last 24 hours of the week is a Sabbath day to the Lord, thy God. That's right. Read and do all thy work. And you got 144 hours throughout the week to do all your work. Six days to do all your work. Six 24-hour segments of every day to do all your work. But today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's why y'all out here getting judged. Eight people shot. One day. People kidnapped. Always in the car wreck and always tearing something up. You know why? Because your whole life is out of order. God tearing you up. That's why. That's why you get car checked in the light. That's why you work hard on your job and still get fired. You work hard to find a job, still can't get hired. That's why you go through what you go through. Because the whole world is out of order. Chicago is out of order. America is out of course. The black community is out of course. Y'all done lost our goddamn minds out here. Read what you got. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. You see that the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord. I know y'all know how to count. You count on the calendar yourself. What's the seventh day of the week? That's today, the seventh day of the Lord. Now, give me that one I had asked for. About, give me that in Psalms 82. About the world being out of course. I know y'all think white supremacy going to last forever. Y'all think America is going to last forever. I know y'all think that this capitalistic society is going to last forever. You believe that, young man? You believe that this place is going to be here forever? You know, according to the Bible, we the real Jews of the Bible. We the true biblical Jews of the Bible. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Do y'all realize that? Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 1. Come on. God standing in the congregation of the mighty. You see that? God standing in the congregation of the mighty. The congregation of the mighty is not in the seven-day Adventist church, the Baptist church, the Catholic church, the Muslim mosque, the nation of Islam church. The congregation of the mighty is amongst us, brother. Do you understand that you are part of the congregation of the mighty? Do you understand that we in the Israelites the Bible speaks of? I understand that you're miseducated. Come on, come over here. Come over here. You should have miseducated. How so? How so, young man? Come talk to me. Who Teach me something. Why would I think that, um, first of all, why would I believe in the Bible? You said why? Yeah. You know why? How did we get here to the shores of America? How so? A rocket ship? A Cadillac? A cruise ship? How did we get here to the shores of America? South Carolina, Kingston, Jamaica, New Orleans, Louisiana, New York. Which? How did the blacks? In America, dot on all the shores on the eastern coast, the southern coast, the Caribbean coast, the South American coast, how did our people dock here on the shores of North, Central, and South America? How so? And throughout Europe, how so? Ways. What's the chief way? You said numerous ways. What's the number one way? Well, and bro, I'm gonna let you know right now, we, we very serious. Slavery. So let's get to the point. Besides slavery. No, how did we get here? No, no, not, don't sidestep the main issue. Besides slavery. How did we okay, get here? Slavery then. If you want to. That's not saying nothing. Slavery, let's go with slavery. What's the form of transportation? Ships. Slave ships, right? Correct. Correct? 
That's how we got here to the shores of America? That's how many of us got That's here. That's how the bulk of us got here to the shores of America, Correct. right? Correct? Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. The book the young of man Deuteronomy. said, why should we no, believe no, the Bible, right? No, 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 wait, wait, ain't no left to wait, nothing. The young man said, how do we believe in the Bible? He just said that we got here to the shores of Central, uh, South, and North America through slave ships. Now, let's this see what the Bible says. Started. Read what you got. Hey, it the book of Deuteronomy! This is Deuteronomy, the fifth book of the Bible. The fifth book, come on. Chapter 28! You got spirits on you. Verse 68! Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt God again. said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, young man. Young Bro, man, God said, why are you God sorry? shall bring thee into right. Egypt again. Just because you talk about Egypt is slavery. Your right. Huh? Just because you speak what? about it, so right. With what? How do we get here to the shores of Egypt? Read. What? Ship. Now you may laugh, you say America's not Egypt. But you ever been to Tennessee? You ever heard of a city called Memphis? You ever been to New York? You ever seen the old police in New York? You ever seen the old police in Washington, D.C.? You, you ever looked at the back, a back of a dollar bill and see the pyramid? You ever been to Southern Illinois? You ever seen Cairo, Illinois? You know Cairo is named after a city in Egypt? Right. Memphis is named after a city in Egypt? You know that we served the same slavery here in America, in Memphis, and in Cairo, Illinois, the same way we served Egypt in, in uh, ancient slavery in See? ancient Egypt. The person who speaks the louder Egypt. does not necessarily so mean that they're the correct. Camera, it's not simple as that. Not debating the, debating he won't even take what? a question from relations. someone who's it's educated. Like Bible said, he will again. only again, speak and pontificate. Up. If you actually want to learn, you will right, actually do research instead of pontificating. Listen to what he's doing. Instead of instead of pontificating, we should actually try to educate. Now he's going to scream that Bible verse again, like that matters. In actuality, you should do research outside of the Bible to understand the context of these Historically, that's transatlantic slave ships. When you research and just believe things that's within the book, and if that's only the thing that you believe, first and foremost, you're doing circular reasoning. The Bible is your truth because the Bible says so. That is crazy. Analogical fallacy. He shall be sold! Oh, we not sold on the shores of uh, Charleston, South Carolina, Baltimore, Maryland, Kingston, Jamaica, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Port-au-Prince, Spain, are you here to teach? San Juan, or are you here to just uh, Puerto Rico. You just here to I'm here to educate, if you're going miseducated to educate, young men if like you're yourself. Gonna, if you're gonna educate, you have brains in your bed, but you're still a young man. You don't know if nothing. Educate, Read what you got. See, you don't know something really as simple as your history just that the Bible shit. documents that we would come here on the slaves on the on the shores of America through slave ships. So if you don't know that, I can't dialogue with you. Read what you got. In fact, he shall be sold unto your enemies. You was we not sold to our enemies? Was we not sold to our enemies? Come on, read what you got. For bad men and bad women. Come on, read what you got for me. And no man shall buy you. You see that? No man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. Come on. No, he's read that again for me. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy. Come on. 28, verse 48. Come on, read that again. Did we not serve our enemies? Do we not serve our enemies? Where the camera at? Do we not serve our enemies? Read that again. I asked the book. The Bible is enemies. We serve our enemies, right? Know this stuff here. Do we not serve this our enemies? Does not Read that again. Our history. The book. Just the Bible son of the Bible. enemy. Come on. No, I know what the Lord shall send against you. The Lord sent our enemies against, against the system. The Lord sent the Dutch, the French, the, the, Portuguese, the, 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 the Portuguese, the English, if you won't the listen, Spaniards. That means the Lord sent them, them against us. Read. And hunger. And hunger. We had to serve our enemies for hunger. If you want food, you have to serve your enemies for hunger. That's documented history. Read. And it thirst. And it thirst. So you want something to drink? You gotta go to your enemies, enemies for water. Like we you don't, don't know how to grow our own food. You don't food. own Deer Park. You don't own none of these things. I you don't know. own CVS if you want to get some water, a case of water. You don't own Dollar Tree. Do you don't own Falcon Fuel. Water? Guess what? You gotta go it to your enemies. Rains. Just like the Bible says. No, you don't. Just like the book it says. Rains. Read what you got. You can get your own filters. And guess what? If it rains, rain you gotta water. Clean water. You can make you your own filters. You don't gotta buy no fucking water. And you can grow your own food from your own seeds. seeds. Is this your you don't need to buy food. That's your father. That's your friend. Guess what? 
If your daughter, He's son, lying. friend, anybody want to get married, and the one of all he things, you got to go to Cook County to get married. No, you don't. You got to go to the court, the circuit court of Cook County in Markham to the, get married. The to Constitution your own right. states that. You want some toilet yeah. paper? You, you have your go own to your enemy. religious Read beliefs. You, you can be and married he, according to your he, religion. He no he, need for a Cook County what? shit at all. Hey, so hey, keep hey, lying. What's this? I bet behind. you guys edit this what's shit out. This shit going to get edited out. Who right? Who right? Is he is, is the Bible right or is he right? I'm right. Read that again. Turn to speak it this way. Read that again for him. The fuck? He like the fuck? No, he he shall, he's like he's screaming. And he shall. He's Read right. that part again. And he and shall. he shall what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What's this right here? Is this a yoke of iron on our neck? Documented history? Guess what that's found at in the Holy Bible? So what? What you got to say now? That's not in the Quran. That's not in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. That's found in the Holy Bible. Now look, 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 you see he's settling now, he ain't got nothing to say now, you see that? Hey, stop, don't play with us up here. Don't play with us up here, read what you got. Read what you got. He have this story. Read what you got. Come on, that's why I call you a young man, because you don't know nothing. Read what you got from me. It's all right. People. He don't bite, he don't bite you. Come on. They have not known me. Uh-huh. They are Scottish children. God said his people are foolish, they have not known me. You are a foolish young man. You don't know God. Read. And they have not understand. They got no understanding. He didn't even know that according to the Bible, we're the Israelites that was brought here on slave ships. That's who we are. Read. And they have not understand. Our people have no understanding. It don't matter how old you are, you're not more ancient than the book itself, than the Holy Bible. Read it out. If you're not coming with historical facts, don't come up here running your mouth. Read what you got. They are wise to do evil. Our people are wise to do evil. If y'all are wise to form these gangs to do evil, to move criminal activities throughout your own neighborhood, you wise to do evil to do that. You wise to set up churches and lie against the Bible and say, bring me your tithes and collect money. You wise to do that, even though the Bible don't say to do that. We are here week after week. We don't collect no money. I work. I work a job. I got a whole career. Most of us do. I don't need your money. Read. But to do we good. come out here to teach for the love of our people. That's it. That, Read. Right. They have no knowledge. Uh huh. But to do what? But to do good. But when it comes to doing good, Read. they have no knowledge. Our people don't got knowledge now. You understand me, brother? When it, when it comes to doing good, we don't have no knowledge now. But when it comes to do evil, we can think of a hundred ways to do evil. Uh -huh. Right? But we can't think of one way to do good, and that's follow God. We can't even do that. That's why we get judged out here. That's why. That's why God's hand is heavy on his people. Right? Teach. Because think about, it, think about it like this. Everybody does the same thing. All nations on the earth sin, right? But why does you and your race get judged the hardest? You used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.